Dogecoin and cryptos are heading up nicely. They are looking bullish. We are continuing to move up, breaking these levels of resistance, which is great to see. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you a quick update. What are my thoughts? What I think is next for Dogecoin and cryptos, especially for the next couple of days, because we know the next couple of days are going to be huge, very critical for these cryptocurrencies, especially Dogecoin, so make sure you watch this video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Miles, and every day I make videos about Dogecoin and cryptocurrency. I give you guys the latest and greatest news so you don't have to be scrounging the internet for news, and I teach you how to make money through technical analysis. So if you want to learn how to make money in cryptocurrency and you love cryptos, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss these time-sensitive videos. I'm also giving away 250 Doge to one lucky winner this Saturday. All you have to do in order to enter and to win is like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow my Instagram and Twitter, and put something in the comments below. Go ahead and smash up the like button for Dogecoin. Dogecoin is killing it. The last couple of days, we have been looking very good. We've been covering strongly but let me know in the comments below. We all know that these huge options expirations, these future contracts are going to be Friday, tomorrow. It could send the market up to the moon or it could crash us down again. Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts for tomorrow? Are we going to see some upwards momentum? Are we going to see the start of the bull run? Are we going to go up or are we headed down tomorrow? Let me know what your thoughts are. All right, so this video is going to be a quick update. We're just going to be taking a look at some cryptos, especially Dogecoin. We're going to be taking a look at the chart, seeing what's going on. And currently, right now, we are looking bullish, ladies and gentlemen. We formed a bullish pennant. A lot of you guys have been pointing this out in the Patreon and the Discord chat group. And look at this, a beautiful bullish flag up here. This is wonderful. And look, a bullish flag is basically you get a huge pump up, you get a leg or you get a flagpole, and it's just this consolidation period that gets really small. And right now we just broke the level of resistance. If I go ahead and zoom in, I can show you that the level of resistance, especially on this W pattern, which is also a bullish flag. We see a sideways consolidation that was actually headed up. We broke this level of resistance just now. So huge things could potentially happen, not only now and for the rest of the day, but tomorrow. We could see for the next several days, the next week, some green. We could see some huge run-ups because everyone has been waiting for this month to get over with. This is a bearish month historically, but July is historically a bullish month every single year. So if this happens and July ends up being the most bullish or a very bullish month, it would be very good, especially as we make our entries in these very low levels and Dogecoin and these cryptocurrencies, because we know these things will be at least two to five times what they are now by the end of the year, especially if you're buying at these low prices. Most importantly, let's take a look at coin market cap. We're seeing Bitcoin up 3.27%, Ethereum uh, up 1.72%. Ethereum is down a good bit because there's a huge, the biggest options expiration for Ethereum that is going on. Um, we're seeing Cardano up 10.5% today. Amazing. Cardano hit a dollar. I bought Cardano at about a dollar the other day. And look, it's a dollar 40. That's amazing if you would have bought that. I've been announcing these buy alerts when we hit these bottoms, these profitable positions in my Patreon. So if you want to get access to those buy and sell alerts to make profit even in a down market, join the Patreon, which is linked in the video description below, where I also offer a bunch of services to help you get money and make money in crypto market. But remember, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is just my personal opinion for entertainment purposes. Going down, look at Litecoin up 6.4%, Solana up 10%. Solana has been killing it. I don't know, how do, you, do any of you guys have Solana? I recently got into Solana and it's been doing amazing. But let's look at the Dogecoin trading volume. I'm sure that it is up. Actually, no, it is down 28%. The Dogecoin trading volume is down 28%, but yet we're still up 5.10% which is very good. So that means that the trading volume for Dogecoin was very high yesterday. Looking at the crypto fear and greed index the other day, we were at extreme fear. We were basically at the bottom. People were scared. They were panic selling. That's why we've seen a huge crash the other day. Whenever there is news and it causes a panic sell, that is the time to buy. In my opinion, that is when I buy personally, because whenever there is a news, whenever something goes down really hard, really fast, that's when you buy. Because generally, whenever something goes down really fast, it will bounce up very fast as well. But most importantly, let's get back to these crypto charts. I'm going to show Dogecoin at the end, but look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is heading up. It is actually breaking the level of resistance. We bottomed out at about 28,000, ladies and gentlemen. We were buying, making buy alerts at these levels for these cryptos. And even at Bitcoin, if you would have bought Bitcoin, you would be up 24% in the last couple of days. The other altcoins like Dogecoin have done much better performance-wise, but Bitcoin to do that is amazing. Bitcoin holding up strong despite all of this bearish momentum, despite all of the whales trying to short and bring Bitcoin and these cryptos down. 
Bitcoin is holding up very strong. We are approaching 35,000. We're only a few thousand away from 40,000 and then 42,000. When, Bit when Bitcoin breaks 42,000, ladies and gentlemen, you better get ready because things are about to take off. And that can happen here very soon. Look at Cardano. This is absolutely amazing. We put a buy alert for this as well in the Patreon. And look, we are up 40% from that bottom. Very, very bullish on the charts, ladies and gentlemen. Ethereum approaching that level of resistance now. It is looking very strong. We're forming another inverse head and shoulders as it appears. If I were to go to a 20 minute, if I were to go to a 20 minute, we are seeing that we are absolutely approaching this resistance level for Ethereum. So it is looking very bullish, but we're also seeing this inverse head and shoulders potentially start to play out right here. It's a very small pattern, but it shows you a lot of strength, a lot of bullish momentum. But most importantly, I also wanna take a look at Dogecoin. You wanna do a further in-depth analysis to see where we are really absolutely headed. So going in further, like I just showed you, we are forming a bullish flag. But yes, we are most likely going to continue to go up and pump. But the next level that we need to hit, ladies and gentlemen, the next level that we are going to hit eventually in time, I don't know how long it's going to take, but it's going to be soon. We are most likely going to come up to this 28 cent level. Imagine that if you would have bought Dogecoin at 16 cents, you would be more than doubling your money here in the next here in the near future. So Dogecoin is most likely going to be headed up because we are breaking these resistance levels. And the next levels of resistance are gonna be the previous support levels, the previous resistance and support levels that we did find on our way down, which is gonna be about 25 cents. Then we have 26 and a half cents. But most likely what is gonna be happening is we're gonna be experiencing potential, a lot of volatility in the next 24 to 48 hours. So we could see a potential huge drop in the crypto market. Be prepared and aware that that's a possibility, but also be aware and know that we could just do the opposite. We could absolutely pump and go to the moon to blow your socks off, ladies and gentlemen. That's certainly a possibility. And I'm more of an optimistic person, so I like to see the better or the good versus the negative. But we must also be aware of both situations. For me, if this drops to zero, I know it's going to bounce up very quickly, so I wouldn't even be worried. But I don't think we would ever get near that. And I honestly don't think we will ever go under 16 cents again unless some Something crazy happens unless something crazy happens but it is looking bullish so what we are seeing ladies and gentlemen is bullish momentum and we understand that when we are going up there are resistance levels that we are going to interact with whenever there is resistance levels we will most likely get rejected and then come down and then come back up break it and then go and kind of stair step our way up past these resistance levels so we have to be looking at the 28 cent level when we break 28 cents ladies and gentlemen we are going to be headed up close to 32 cents about 31 and a half cents and then we're going to head up further and further come down and then go back up down and up but we're going to continue to be going up higher but the most important thing is to understand but we must also understand that there are some bears out there a lot of money trying to short these cryptos the next couple of days so they can cause a lot of volatility they can come out with some news to kind of hit you to throw you off to make you want to sell to bring the price down but they're not going to be hitting us we have diamond hands so i'm thinking that tomorrow could be potentially a very big day either bullish or bearish, but my personal opinion, by the way the chart is looking, it is looking bullish, but we know that news, no matter what happens, no matter if this chart is looking very, very bullish, a bear can come out there and a whale and the bears and the whales, they can come out there and drop these prices faster than a hot potato in your hand. So that's my personal opinion. If you wanna be able to trade cryptocurrencies, day trade them tax-free, use my iTrust Capital, which is linked in the video description below. And if you wanna get four free stocks worth up to $4,000, Use my Weeble link. All you have to do is deposit $100 and they give you the free stocks, which you can immediately sell. So that's going to be it for the video. Uh, go ahead and check out the Patreon if you have not done so already. Like this video below up the comment section. I will try to answer all of the good comments out there. And I will see you guys later tonight. I'll be making another video. Thank you all so much.